and they couldn't give you an answer. Them being in the land does not fulfill prophecy, so you have to throw it out. So yeah, that's, that was the end of that. So. will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens and the earth shall pass away, man, with fervent heat. So, the scripture, the scripture says, you know, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness what man of person should you be? The scripture go on to tell you. It says, hastening to the coming of the day of the Lord. You should be a man that's hastening for the day of the Lord, for the Lord to return. And that's, uh, that's in verse 12. It said, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's what man of person you ought to be. In all manner of holy conversation. You should be keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Coming out here on the highways and byways, bidding Israel to the marriage feast, doing everything you need to do, giving all diligence to ensure, you know, your salvation. At the end of the day, it's all about our salvation. The salvation of the nation of Israel. Ultimately, all of Israel. But right now, the Heavenly Father is dealing with the elect. So, as I was saying, right now, unto the elect I call. That should be outlawed, you know. But no, no one is, you know, no one makes an outcry for these types of things. But the men of the Lord coming out on the highways and the byways, giving people the truth, and this is a great outcry against us, you know. But if you want to be a part of man bullock, then that's by all means go ahead. See, that's the perversion. And the the, the uh, degradation of society. Then Esau permits all this. So he, he totally destroys he destroys the earth. He destroys mankind. He, he, he destroys any and everything that he comes into contact with because he is the devil. He is the wicked that the scriptures speak of. So going back to Second Ezra.
right? Chapter 6, and verse 8 again, speaking of Esau, you, you, you so-called white people, you devils. So the scripture says, 2 Ezra chapter 6, verse 8, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were, were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world. Yes, you know, you can't put it in the plane. Esau is the end of the world. So ever since this white man came into power in the 1300s, that began the end of the world. That was the beginning of the end since the 1300s. So here we are, 700 something odd years later, or 600 plus years later, and this white man is about to be taken out of the way. So with that being said, <clears throat> and this white man being taken out of the way, and just been 600 years, 600 something odd years, that's a short time. That's a short time to rule. But if the, as the scripture said, if the Lord doesn't come back soon, there will be no flesh left to be saved. Because he destroys everything in his path. Everything. Do y'all know who Esau is? You ever heard of Esau? Okay. Well, you are Esau. And Esau is the end of the world. They are totally destroying everything. Ma'am, you ever heard of Esau? So, you know, like I said, that's a mystery. That's a mystery that been, you know, at play or in play ever since this white man came into power. He's been hiding the fact of who he is. You know? At the top, they know. They know at the top. These people here on the street that's passing by, they have no clue. Nor do they want to have it. People are happy in their ignorance, you know, happy living in this matrix that these elites have put up for them, you know, to keep them busy and occupied while they continue their dominance over mankind. These people like that, guess what? This so-called white man is getting ready to pull the rug from under this place. But everybody's gonna have a rude awakening. Everybody who isn't awakened already. The masses of people here in America are in for a rude awakening. Because, you know, to the, to the, uh, well, people just don't know. To their surprise, you know, everything that they see, you know, everything that they see before them, you know, them going to the jobs every morning, to the, going to the nine to five, being able to go to the grocery store, you know, going to church on Sundays, all that's gonna stop. Being able to watch the ball game on TV, or going to see the game at the stadium, all that's gonna come to an end. Understand? People can't perceive of that happening, but it has happened before and it's about to happen again. And that's the thing. The majority of people here in America are underrated. They don't know anything. And you know, I'm out here for the education and enlightenment of the Israelites. But if, you know, as the old saying goes, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't force him to drink. So I'm out here, man, Jake passed by all the time, Jake will tell you, you know, yeah, I'll be out here next week. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm not out here to force anybody, you know. This truth is precious. Just like if, if I was giving away money. I wouldn't have to force that on nobody. Because 
because the people here in America, that's what they value. They'll be fighting and kicking and screaming and spitting to get that money. You know? It'd be a madhouse out here. But here I have some a million times more precious and valuable. And you know, it's, it's basically a, a wasteland out here. People here in America are carnal as all outdoors, man. Carnal as hell. And they put no value in being to the spirit. Until it's too late. And at that point in time, when it's too late, it's too late. So we know. Alright, it said, right. Esau is the end of the world. And Shalaki Akiram, you have to <clears throat> hear my voice. You know, the weather out here, man, Texas is crazy. Last week I was freezing. This week it's been 80 degrees, you know? And so the weather affects, you know, the change in temperature affects your vocal cords and all that, you know, nasal passages, the, the uh, Atmospheric pressure and stuff affects your nasal passages, and you know. But I'm, I'm gonna do the best I can in the spirit and the power and the grace of your Howard Bosch Shem Howard Shah to push this truth out. So just bear with me, our job, and you know, there will be some edification coming out. So just know that. You know, and I'm gonna read on. So, again, Esau is the end of the world. You know who Esau is, man? You ever heard of Esau? You just start reading your Bible, man. Excuse me, y'all ever heard of Esau in the Bible? Oh, okay, well, y'all are, y'all are the children of Esau, the devil. Esau is the devil in the Bible. Nobody's heard of Esau, you know? So, yeah, uh, people need to be enlightened and educated. You know, but the Heavenly Father is coming to put Esau in his place. Mary, you ever heard of Esau? And it's in the Bible. You never read of Esau in your Bible? So see, she knows she's an Edomite. So, this is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 6, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows him. So Esau, the so-called white people, are the end of the world. So now we are at the very end. As I was saying earlier, the end began back in the 1300s when this white man began to come into power. That was the beginning of the end of the end of this world. Of this world. Not the earth or committee, but the world eon as in a time of age, a system that's in place. And this system that's in place, you know, this matrix that's been constructed, it's a system of lies, a system of deception. That's why he's called the devil. The devil going back to the left, being Diablo, being a deceiver. That's what we have in place, a system of deception. Even if you go down to the very time, you know, times and dates. It, the, the book of Daniel tells you that he would uh he would seek to, to change time and seasons. You know? So it's like you think it's Friday, but we don't know what day it is. You think it's January, we don't know if it's January. Right now, here in Houston, it feels, feels more like April, May. 
everything is all screwed up, man. This white man has totally screwed up everything. That has to be, you know, brought out. And according to 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter, this man of sin must be revealed before the coming of the day of the Lord. He must be revealed. You got those out there that say, man, y'all always talk about the white man is the devil, but y'all don't ever do nothing. What, am, what, I'm just standing here? I'm doing something. Right here, right now, this is me doing something. I'm prophesying. The word of truth is what's bringing this devil down. He has to be exposed before he can be completely taken out of the way. He has to be exposed first. You see, the, the corner-minded, they think on those levels. And, you know, unless you get physical with these devils that you're not doing anything. And we fight spiritually. This is a spiritual weapon. And when I say we, I mean my brethren, the prophets of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, we fight spiritually. And the fight, we bring it to them, this is our weapon. <clears throat> so again, 2nd Ezra chapter 6 verse 9, for Esau, the so-called white people, it says, is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of that which followed, or the beginning of it that followed. The hand of man is betwixt the hill and the hand. Other question, Ezra asked thou not. So that's, that's basically it. Esau is the end of the world. You ever heard of Esau, sir? Well, you are, you are the true children of Esau. So, I'm going to go from there, because as I was saying, there are only two types of people in the earth. Those who have faith and those who are faithless. The faithful and the faithless. And that's it. Amongst you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, like I said, that number has been calculated already. One third of the nation of Israel are going to be faithful. Two thirds are going to be faithless and destroyed. And I'm going to bring this out just to prove that fact. my shepherd and against the man that is my fellow said the Lord of hosts smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered and I will re return my my hand upon the little ones it says and it shall come to pass that in all the land said the most high two parts therein shall be cut off and die but the third shall be left therein. So two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two parts of the nation of Israel, two parts of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans will be cut off and put to death for your unfaithfulness. For your very unfaithfulness. Because you chose not to take heed of the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai at the mouth of his service, the prophet. Well, one, one part should be left there. That one part represents the one third because you're dealing with three parts. Two parts and then the one part. Two parts going to be cut off and die.